Welcome to Heart Attack Engineer. In this video, you will learn about the difference between anchor, guide, and limit stop. So watch the video till the end. Please like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe. You can subscribe right now by just clicking subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen, because this way you will get the notification of new video. Let's start with the video. Pipelines must stay in place where it is installed in the pipe rack. When temperature change, you know that metals are subjected to thermal expansion and contraction. So we need some additional support to achieve this functionality. Pipe support such as guide, limit stop, and anchor keep the pipeline on its place throughout the operation. They restrict the excessive movement in a pipeline and keep them in place. Each of these has a unique function. Let's start with pipe guide. The function of the guide is to allow the movement in the perpendicular direction. That means allowing a pipe to move along its length but not sideway. Guides are necessary for the proper functioning of expansion loop. It helps in maintaining the alignment of the pipeline on the rack. The guide is also used to restrict the vertical movement of the pipe. Here in the image you can see both types of guide. This one will not let you move the pipe in this direction but it let move pipe in this direction. So it will not move side by side but along the axis it can move. Similarly this guide will allow the movement of the pipe towards its axis but will not let the pipe leap from the support. Next is limit stop or line stop. A line stop is used to prevent excessive line travel on the pipe rack. It will contain a pipe from moving along its length. This is opposite to the guide that allows free axial movement. Please note that the line stop do allow predetermined axial movement on the line as you can see in the image that there is a gap between the stop and the beam. Here you can see that gap. So it will allow the pipe to move only by the gap, predefined gap. So it will restrict any additional movement beyond this allowable limits. So when the line expansion hit the stop limit, it will not let the further expansion of the pipeline beyond this support. Now let's see the function of anchor in the pipeline. As the name suggests, an anchor restricts all three types of movement in the pipeline at given point. An anchor aims to divide a pipeline into individual expanding sections. Anchor design should consider all kind of loads that may occur in the pipeline to withstand any condition that arise during the operation. Here in the image, you can see that both primary and secondary supports are welded so that pipe will not move. This is primary support which is directly welded to the pipeline and this is secondary support on which this primary support is rested. So here they weld throughout the supports so it will completely stop the movement of the pipe. It will not allow in any movement in any direction. Now you can easily summarize the difference between the pipe guide, limit stop and anchor. Pipe guide allows predetermined axial movement of the pipeline. The limit stop allows limited movement and the anchor doesn't allow movement at all. This is the end of the video. Please visit my website hardwardengineer.com to learn more and don't forget to subscribe. Also like and share this video with your friends. See you soon with the next video. Goodbye. Take care.